before we start the video. Like and subscribe and hit the notification bell below. Or the memes will hunt you. Hello, your daily friend here, back again in the Wild West. So today's topic is all about um, risk factors in spawn places around Wild West. So I'm going to start here at Bronze City. So as we all know, Bronze City is where we spawn as always, but um, I consider this as a medium risk to high risk factor of becoming a dangerous place in the wild west it's not really a safe zone um, this place is far some dangerous because sometimes this this place will be a really really bad place for starters um, basically the shootouts here sometimes um, outlaws invade people bring animals like bisons they bring bears and normally if you have protection you can't be shot by an outlaw as you can see i just kicked an outlaw yes sometimes outlaws go here in the bronze city and look it's starting to get intense i just saw a guy la trying to lasso the man see so yes um, bronze city is medium to high risk factor of being killed see i saw a killer on the run okay let's take him out shall we okay we're good hitting this guy boom boom see i told you guys see look i told you as you can see it's becoming um shootouts already we have another wanted person shooting at me so while i'm doing this um I'm just going to let you see what's going to, what's happening in Bronze City. So yes, then we're going to move on to the next place in the Wild West. So the next area in the Wild West is Tribal Forest. So Tribal Forest is um, a forest basically. Um, people go here to hunt and not just ordinary people outlaws used to hunt here based on my experiences i've seen a lot of outlaws hunting in tribal forest and i consider this high risk this is actually notorious for some people or friendly people just camp here just having a nice time in the wild west then and apparently some troublemakers or outlaws came to um, disturb the peace of them um, try shooting the camp so yes um, I consider tribal forest as a dangerous place in the wild west as you can see here we have a person a wanted person let me arrest him real quick and as I go here um, I see the horse over there and yes as always I see people here had a wanted tag which means they're all outlaws but sometimes these people normal people just goes here and also the swamp i consider it a high risk area um reasons um there's um snipers and also dangerous animals like um, gators that you can see because sometimes they blend in in the colors and yet um Tribal Forest is a high risk place and definitely a place to visit if you're an intermediate person. Okay, let's go to the next the next um, place. So the next place on our list is Callahan Manor. So Callahan Manor is just a normal mansion here and people just go here for just like um, visiting the place like exploring the inside like this secret bookshelf or they just buy the three star horse or the best horse in game that you can buy this year or just look in the spooky paintings like that one 
and yes people just visit here and i consider this as a low risk to medium risk place because um based on my experiences i've spawned here before sometimes there's a uh, little shootouts for outlaws that's why i consider it a uh, medium risk low risk to medium risk and that is why so yeah let's go to the next uh, place so the next place in our list is Howling Peak. So this is Howling Peak right here at the top of the mountain. So uh, I consider this place as a really safe place. Safe at all guys. It's really safe. Um, based on my experiences, I've been here before. No one spawns here. Um, that's kind of um, cool. No one spawns here. Um, people just visit here for some reason. And yes, um, Howling Peak is really a good place, a really safe place. And also, um, its mountains offer you um, gold and silver. Really good for starting people, um, for starters, yes. And yes, uh, I consider this safe. And for some of you, you might consider this safe to low risk. Um, based on my experiences, um, I've never experienced some people going around here. Um, I mean, I just experienced the hacker stuff that I ex encountered. So yes, anyways, let's move on to the next list. The next place on our list is Alto Spurge in Raiders Canyon. So, um, the reason why I added this place is, this place is, I consider this a high risk area and notorious for many gunfights and warfare going on here. So, let's just go to the back the back entrance here okay so let's just sneak in here so i can show you um recent um in this place i just heard some gunshots happening okay let's see okay i'm just gonna let you see guys and i consider this place high risk and if you're an outlaw you get protection but i'm a citizen oh see i told you you can see over there fights are happening Outlaws versus outlaws, no peace in here. This is actually a high risk area and um, toxic place. Okay, I'm just going to uh, sneak in here and I'll move to the next uh, list or, or the next place. So, yes, as you can see, there are just people. So, I'm just gonna try to do some little PvP here and go to the next list Okay, I got rid of them, so let's go to the next place. So the next place in our list is um, Windmill Camp. Yes, Windmill Camp in the Great Plains. So let's just skip. I'm gonna skip the video so we can start already. So here we are at Windmill Camp, and Windmill Camp is con I consider this as a high risk area because of wanted people and sometimes heavy gunfights and also this place is notorious um, this place is a spot for snipers who snipe people from great plains just who are just hunting bison and uncle's perch is worse than this windmill camp so anyways guys that's it for the video 
I hope you learned something from me and enjoy the video. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and always be safe and see you all next time.